It's a terrific feeling and I'm extremely grateful for, for everyone at the club who welcomed me really well this morning and uh, I can't wait to get out on the track later with the guys. I wouldn't say surprise, draft night's a, a funny night and anything can happen. I just went in with, a, with an open mind that whichever club um, was take me, would take me, I'd be incredibly grateful and, and really grab that opportunity with both hands. So um, really grateful for the club I've grown up supporting to, to give me a chance. Your family, you mentioned the lifelong Eagles fans and you were hoping draft day. How does it feel now to be the club that you've supported for so long? Yeah, I suppose it was something which I said before the draft, it would be nice, but I didn't really think it would become a reality. Obviously, um, it's a 1 in 18 chance to get drafted to the club you've grown up supporting, so I'm incredibly lucky and I definitely won't take that for granted. You spoke about a few of the players that you, you want to shadow over the pre-season. What's the most exciting thing about turning up for day one of pre-season? Yeah, I think, as you said, meeting all the players that you've grown up idolising and um, seeing them not only as footballers where you watch them for, for two and a half hours on the weekend, but um, their everyday interactions and the things they do off the field that, that makes them so successful when they are on the park. You've spoken about endurance. What are some of the other things you want to work on over the pre-season? First and foremost, I think um, just skills and decision-making needs to get faster at the next level. Obviously, um, it's a real step up in tempo, and I found that a little bit playing league footy last year, so that's something which I'm going to have to get better at again. Um, and, yeah, as you said, just meeting all the guys and getting to know them. Oscar, all the Eagles fans will be asking, can you play in the midfield? Yeah, I think it's something, a role which I can take on in the future. Um, obviously, I played more as a, a key forward and key back playing junior footy and Colts footy, um, but I definitely think that's a, a big chance to play in the future. How much time did you spend playing midfield? Um, until I was about 15 or 16 years old, I was primarily an inside midfielder. Um, then I had a pretty big growth spurt and moved to play more of a key position role. So I, I definitely think it's a role which I can take back on in the future. Do you, look, do you have any more growth in you? Because everyone said 191 is you big enough to be a forward. Yeah, I think I have a little bit more growth in me and I'm pretty fortunate I've got really long levers and long arms so um, I think when you watch me play, I play a little bit taller than what I actually am. It's a pretty spectacular year you had um, this year, wasn't it, to uh, win the last medal, sort of league West Australia really well, have a really good game in the All-Stars game, you're still pinching yourself at just how good a year it was for you. Yeah, I, I was really fortunate, I mean, um, your draft year is probably one of the biggest years in your life and I was really fortunate that things came together and um, that's due to a lot of other people as well. I've been really fortunate to be given a great chance at, in the WA program as well at West Perth um, and I had some terrific teammates throughout the way who helped me the whole year along. So. How are you looking to at West Coast to mentor you and, and help you through this next big step? Um, probably the first and foremost would be someone like Josh Kennedy. He plays that key forward role and although we're not really the same physical dimensions, he's someone who, speaking to a lot of the guys whose work rate um, in his early years of the club is really what set him up to have a really successful career and that's something which I want to, um, as I said, live in his back pocket and really follow him around to see what I can take from him. And obviously there's a big group of young players come into the club this year. Is a chance to form your own little group and, and push each other along? Yeah, definitely. I think that's the most important thing in football clubs, not only to, to build those relationships on and off the field, but to, to really spur each other on. It's the competition of trying to get a spot in the side, which, um, which really allows everyone to perform at their best. You had a chance to talk to any of the boys in Simo yet? Yeah, I was fortunate enough to be at the draft in Sydney, so I caught up with Simo and um, some of the coaching staff for dinner after the draft. And this morning, meeting a lot of new names and a lot of new faces will definitely be a challenge for me to remember them all today. Um, but yeah, I got to meet all the guys and they've been very welcoming. How did you go with your mates from West Perth now that you're going to probably line up for the world? Yeah, it was something where, um, for me now, I'm extremely grateful for everything West Perth had done for me, but um, I'm in this privileged position to be um, a West Coast Eagle and that's my, my role now. And if they want me playing at West Perth, uh, East Perth, I'll, I'll do my role for the side to, to do the best I can. So um, if I'm uh, playing for East Perth, lining up against West Perth, uh, it's just me doing my job and I'm going to perform the best I can for the side. Do you target round one or just hope to play next year or just don't get ahead of yourself? Yeah, at the moment I'm just taking small steps, really trying to get um, all my physicals done today and get to know the guys. I think that's the most important thing, building that trust within the within the teammates um, and then after then obviously I'll have goals which I'll set throughout the pre-season but just getting myself in a really good frame of mind to play some good footy next year.